Hi, my name is Eve, and maybe I'm a little bit late to the party. You're probably watching this video because you are, like me, recording your guitar and bass with an Focusrite audio interface and using the awesome Neural DSP plugins for bass and guitar tones. Lately, there's been a lot of confusion throughout the whole community about the proper input level you use on your interface to get a decent tone. At first I did not really understand where the issue is because the documentation told us to turn up the gain on our interface right before clipping, turn it a little bit back and so getting the best results. I for one did not really do this this way because when I did and had a lot of tracks my mixing bus clipped and that's because there was too less of headroom. So I aimed a little bit lower and that's what some of the sources in the internet also recommend to do. And I will point you out in the captions uh, where you can find those um, recommendations. There are also people like Bernd who did a uh, um, video about how to correctly set up your interface and even if we ask the most famous source of all times right now, ChatGPT, it also tells you to turn up the gain a little bit to get a better signal conversion. And without digging too deep into details, and there are a lot of uh, specs out there which I don't really fully understand, it seems to me a little bit counterintuitive to turn my gain now really down to zero. Since I can think of the plugins, there's always been people who are complaining about shitty guitar tones, about tones with the Logic Stack plugins which do not work for them, um, neural DSP plugins which don't give them the tone they desire, and even when comparing them to the real world amps, they say it's not at all sounding similar. And I guess most of them who have this problem are the ladies and gentlemen who play Stratocasters and try to aim for clean sounds or sounds at the edge of breakup. What I did in the past when I did not get a decent clean tone, and that happened for instance with the Parallax plugin for bass from Neural DSP, I turned down the input gain on my plugin. Or I tried to use um, gain plugin in my signal chain, so in, in the channel strip right before the plugin, to reduce the level of input or the, to reduce the level of the signal which goes into the amp simulation. But I was curious and as you all probably aiming for the perfect tone, um, I digged a little deeper into these topics and simply tried out to do it the way it's now recommended. because. In fact, the documentation had been updated lately. So Neural DSP did an update. They had some responses from their great support. And also on the Focusrite page, there had been an update uh, months ago where they tell you now to exactly do this. I wanted to try this out and I invite you to join me on this experiment and maybe decide by ear and then let me know what you prefer and how you are doing this.
All right, thank you for listening to my really bad guitar playing. Just for information, I used the Boss pedal, the DD8, because it's uh, stereo capable and I used it to split the signal because I have no active signal splitter here and I wanted to avoid to play differently um, on the different tracks so that the comparison is much more easy to do. I do not want to bother you with uh, a lot of more comparisons which don't really bring us any further. Um, I just wanted to show you how I did it before and when I decide by ear. And now finally I would like to uh, I would like you to let me know in the comments if you think that's a appropriate approach and what way you would prefer. Thank you for watching and if you like to subscribe. I hope I showed the right direction. Mm, maybe I'm doing some more of those videos. Keep on rocking.